Today, I am finally headed to my dream country of the Maldives to stay in a luxury overwater villa and to partake in some incredibly fun water sports. So without further ado, let's get the video rolling. Okay guys, I finally made it to one of my dream countries. I'm in the Maldives right now. I'm with Sam. We are in the capital of Maldives called Malé at the Mali International Airport. So we're headed out to our first resort soon, Kiha Maldives. I believe we first have to take a speedboat or a seaplane. I'm not quite sure, we're gonna see. We're about to head into the terminal and kick off this amazing trip. Let's go. So we just got our own little welcoming party. The whole building staff just came out to welcome us. It's crazy. <laughs> Okay, so a little more settled in now. Got a little fruit drink, we're just grabbing some lunch. We're about to meet with their team after this to basically go over all the events, the shots, everything you wanna basically capture these next few days for their team. But I'm just going over the map of this resort right now. It's kind of more of an island. This place is huge. Check this out. So this is the entire thing. Like, I don't know where to start. There's like three restaurants over here. Our villa's all the way up here. And then there's a gym, there's a tennis pool, like I don't know where to start. It's uh, it can take quite a while to explore this whole area. But Sammy boy, what are you most excited to check out? What do you want to do first? Uh, our villa, okay. it's gonna be amazing over the water. And I'm um, trying out the jet ski, the water sports. So, Ooh. very excited. Yes, I'm gonna whip out the drone in a bit, get over to the villa, meet the team. From there, our new friend Abdul took us on a little tour around the resort. We've got Abdul. Yeah. So it's my I'm going to escort uh, my friend. Yes. <laughs> He's my new friend yes. right here. Welcome to our overwater villa, the Dolphin Suites. It has one giant bedroom with high arch ceilings, a big comfy bed, a television, and all the necessities. The bathroom comes with two sinks, a toilet, a shower, and a gigantic bathtub you can end each day in. Now onto the massive common room area. There is a high arch ceiling again, tons of comfy furniture to sit in, and the team left us a massive fruit platter. Stepping outside, you now come to our private pool and deck area. It comes complete with a wraparound patio and some very comfortable chairs I started every morning in. Finally, our stairs lead right down to the water. I think we are now gonna go get the drone up in the air, see what this spot looks like from the sky. We just finished an insane photo shoot right here. The sunset was right behind us, just basically the area with the water villas. Right now we're gonna run to the beach, see if we can catch the last of the light for today before the sun goes down. But crazy first day at this resort so far. I'm loving it. Good morning guys and welcome to day two here at Kiha Maldives. Woke up and it's unfortunately a little rainy, a little uh, cloudy outside, but 
we are gonna go and try and make the best of it. We're about to link up with our boy, Abdul. Abdul! Hi. <laughs> He's gonna show us around again today. And we're doing like jet skis and spa and we're gonna see what happens with the weather. So fingers crossed, it turns out okay. We'll see. All right, so we had a whole day planned out today, mostly to do water sports, but unfortunately the weather is not cooperating a lot. So Sam and I are at this huge gym right now at the resort, I get a little quick workout in. They even have squash courts here. I haven't played squash since college, so let's give it a go. After the gym, it was off to the spa. That's how, that's how it works. Uh, we have two massage treatments at uh, four. We're a little early, so. Just finished a really relaxing two hour massage. Now I'm out here in my robe with my coconut. And we're just overlooking the ocean right here. Unfortunately, the rest of the day, the weather was super unpredictable, but we grabbed some electric bikes, did a food and beverage shoot we managed to squeeze in, and then headed to the beachfront where they had a fun gathering with food, drinks, and a new friend that was climbing all over me. From the beach party, we then headed to one of their nearby restaurants for a quick wine tasting. Just finished up the last f &B shoot of the day. Right now we're in a place called the Wine Loft. It's kind of a wine cellar. They've converted into a restaurant hangout space. They gave me this beautiful platter of food. Just tons of different veggies and cheeses and nuts and fruits. And I tried a wine from Italy and I tried a wine from South Africa. After the wine tasting, Sam and I headed back to the beach area and I flew my drone again to capture a absolutely stunning sunset. Despite it still being pretty cloudy out, the amazing oranges and red tones combined with the clouds to give a sunset that certainly did not disappoint. All right, another successful little drone shoot. Now we are on the beach back here, doing probably the activity I'm most pumped about at this resort. We are doing some jet skis right now. I think we're going out to a sand bay, could potentially a little isolated island that's like all the way somewhere off in the distance. I really don't know what to expect, but I'm really excited to do this. I love jet skiing, I've done it many times, but never in a place like this. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 